So it's the comparison we've all been waiting for. We've got the Wise Mini versus the Big. I'll tell you right off the bat, I can see a lot of good differences that I like, but we'll find out when we put it up to see if it's worth it. Okay, so the first thing I can see as far as differences is the size, obviously, this being the Mini, but it's not that much bigger um, as far as being the big, okay? Uh, so we got a divided out infrared line here uh, versus these. It's got two smooth ones. Uh, maybe the glare right there a little bit. I don't know if you can see it, but maybe that glare right there uh, we'll maybe spook something. Don't know, not sure. It's still black, right? Um, of course, we got the dual antennas. Uh, obviously, supposedly going to be better for service. We'll see, you know, if it pulls any more bars than the Mini in the same place. Um, and this one does have the through camera lock. But that being said, the through camera lock no longer locks the door. So what I would have liked to seen on this one, they put on this one, but without the door lock. Not that that's a problem, but if you're going to put it out on public land, I would almost want the door locked, even though the big has GPS. So that's maybe something, the reasoning behind that, I guess we'll see. Uh, both of them um, have the sensors, but they're in a different location. One's down low, one's up high in the middle. So I'm going to think that placement on where they're going to be is gonna make a little bit of a difference as far as how high in the tree, okay? Um, and then what I did notice with the big, it does take 12 batteries again, uh, like the Tacticam versus the eight that this holds. I guess also, therefore, why it's being called the Mini. Uh, so stay tuned, we're gonna put these on the tree, we're gonna see how they do, and I wanna see if the video, the GPS, and see if maybe this grabs more signal than the Mini, if a hundred more dollars is definitely worth this camera okay so stay tuned we'll get with it welcome back to the channel guys um, today I'm bringing to you a video that I have promised a little while ago uh, now that I've had plenty of months to um, invest some time and move some uh, camera the, some cameras around and do a lot of comparison tests i'm bringing to you wise i mini versus the wise i big and what i think about it so right off the rip i'm gonna say this the wise i big and the wise i mini are both great cameras um that being said the mini in my opinion just to make it short and sweet is the better camera of the two period um, and I'm gonna put some pictures right here in a couple a couple of these shots of the video so you can see I want you to see nighttime I want you to see daytime the big has the video and that's what the big thing with it was um, it had the two antennas for service uh, you know it had it held 12 batteries over the eight batteries and from my conclusion, this is what I've seen out of the big. Okay, the big died just as fast on picture and video as the mini did on just, just pictures, okay? So even with four more batteries, that extra video feature killed that camera off pretty fast. Um, the two antennas on the big, it did pull more service and it did seem to send pictures just as fast, okay, as far as them sitting side by side in the tree and as quick as the app popped up. They were pretty close. Um, <clears throat> the sensor being where it is on the big camera kind of messed up a sweet spot, whether it be low or high. There was some spots that it just didn't get as good pictures, and you'll see through through a few video um, or throughout the video a few pictures that I put up. You'll see I've had it down low, I've had it up high, I've had it up really high. Um, it still did really good as far as getting the pictures, 
and the distance was very good on it in the daylight the night time some of these pictures you're about to see and I'll show you were just not good and I'm not taking away from it and you could tell that that camera definitely needs maybe a reproduction version to, to do the nighttime stuff but if it was not in a direct lane of the light it was too hard to even see I mean I'd rather had a grainy a grainy not so HD picture rather than nothing because you've got this stream of light and you'll see that just centers and I and then whenever I turn down you have a choice to put it on a half light so I put it on half the lights come on and when I did that then it was almost complete darkness that being said I got some really cool pictures of the farm in the background but I was trying to see the animal there at night not whatever the darkness I had on those pictures which you could kind of see there's some deer and stuff in a couple of those um, so long story short do I think the big is worth three hundred dollars versus getting the mini at 199 I do not I would not recommend that big camera for anyone as far as nighttime three hundred dollars is it's bad enough to say it's not worth three hundred dollars and that's my honest opinion okay um i'll continue to run all the wise products uh great customer service um, and all the minis are going to stay on board and i'm going to keep putting them out um but i would love to see a re-ramp of the big with video features or a mini with video features in the future with that same nighttime capability which i'll put some mini nighttime photos up and you'll see they're far superior compared to the big now let me give you something on the big the daytime pictures are phenomenal the daytime video is phenomenal but as bad as the nighttime is and as blurry as it is and as hard as it is to see is it a hundred dollars phenomenal better it's not um and you know again that's my personal opinion uh i guess the only thing i have to say otherwise than that is check out a little bit of the footage and you'll see exactly what i see and i think you'll agree and if there's any other comparison you want me to do let me know because i've run it on 12 volt uh i've run them on solar now i've got them you know different heights different levels uh different sensitivities different you know max range minimum blur all that and you're gonna see a couple clips of each one i'll keep them labeled and see what you think but i do not think the wise eye big is worth 300 dollars the mini is 100 percent the best trail cam as far as clarity and pictures and stuff like that i've yet to run